Hello, welcome to Val's Crafty Creations. I am excited to be here today to share with you my outgoing envelope memory decks card, which was to be a summer fruit theme. This was my June swap for the Paper Pounders Facebook swap group. So for this project, we were to create a 4x4 envelope, but leave the back flap up to create a pocket and then we had to cut out a piece that was a backer and use our punch or our dies so that it would become a memory dex card. Started playing around with cutting out other papers to line it and the fruit were just too large so I looked in my stash to see what else I had. Echo Park Pool Party collection and so I tried to stick with the watermelons, but then I ended up incorporating some other fruit. And so, yeah, use my punch, my envelope, punch board. I have the We Are Memory Keepers Fuse Pack. So I just grabbed a scrap sheet of that for some sequins. So let's move this over. Oh, and then I needed just a little bit different paper. And I remembered this pack that I got free with my order from scrapbook.com and so I use the sun paper so I'll move these items to the side and while I was doing my organizing this last weekend I put together one of the little gray boxes lobster clasp, my chain, my head pins so that was awesome to finally have that all together in one spot and speaking of organizing I one of the other things I did was take the new bead cap and add them to my little tower here. So let's see, I use that, those things in my project. And then what I did was I took my new tray and I organized everything else that I was gonna need for the project. So here I have my, my watermelon die, Michael's paper that I used for the, to cut out the dies, the little sequin pack that I just gotten at Michael's. I pulled out all the gems. There actually was quite a few gems in there. The tassel pack. So I ended up using one off of there. And ended up sharing a couple of the butterfly ones. And then my Dollar Tree beads. I thought they really went well with the watermelon theme. And here's my little container of fruit clay bits. And I used my iridescent seed beads and my little colored rondelle beads. And then some yellow sequins I had in my stash. So that's that. And like I said, I just had everything all gathered up together. On this tray, I have the table scatter that came from Dollar Tree. I ended up having two different washi tapes in lemon and watermelon. So I'll be sharing some of those you can use on a project. Multicolored seam binding that I had one from one of the live sales and I thought that fit perfect with the summer fruit theme, so we have that. And then in my recent Dollar Tree haul, watermelon candy and the watermelon drink mix. So I'll be sharing that, and then probably three of those. And then I looked in my stash and I remembered I had this watermelon face mask, so I thought that went really well. And then in, also in my recent haul, I picked up these fruit summer themed bags. So I have that. And then I also had picked up at the same time this decorative shred. You could use it all clumped up like that. But I had a lot of fun just sitting. You just pull it apart. And then you can mix and match and use the colors that you need. So I did that. I didn't think the dark blue really went with the project. So I'm just using the yellow and pink and then from my Easter project I have lime green so I'll, I thought that ended up going together really really nicely so here is the envelope memory decks card you see I use the pineapples and watermelon stickers off of the sheet uh, the cut apart uh, the lemon I just happen to have this little turquoise ribbon in my stash I thought that went really well enamel dots from the go with the collection so just layered up several different pieces we'll cut apart 
the sunpaper there in the background and five by five piece would only go to here but I wanted to stabilize the top part of the envelope a little better so I had to do some fun math and figure out how to get the right angle there so but I doubled it up and what I have to go in it is a little tag that I made cut apart from the collection here these two here and I thought well, this could be flipped over and layered like that or actually it worked out this one the striped one could be layered behind this one some kind of a project and then I thought because I'm going with the pineapples and watermelon and the lemons I picked out these two cut aparts so those all match and then I had garlands from Dollar Tree that had the pineapples and flamingos on it took off a couple of the pineapples we have those I have this cut apart here and this hat it says watermelon lemonade popsicles so I was trying not to go too summery stick to the items that had the fruit theme so we'll have that in there and then we have these and we have some pineapples to stick in and then I had fussy cut out several of the fruits from the fruit paper so I thought what could I do with those and I, we're supposed to include tags so I just made up this one and sticker off of the sticker sheet there and so just plain I forgot to mention the embroidery floss so I just had a couple skeins of the ones from Dollar Tree so the pink was perfect to match with everything so just put that in there and then I took one of the cut aparts and actually and then created a tag sun table scatters out of the Dollar Tree mix there and some of the seam binding just a simple tag I mean she can dress it up do something with that so that'll be going in there and then what else do I have oh and I wanted to include some kind of gems of some sort so I found this pack in my stash it has like all the fruit colors and then here's some more of the fussy cut out fruit with some of the enamel dots I uh, just created a little bag topper and then a backer with the well, the sun paper so we're gonna have that go in there right in front we're gonna be sticking a little tag a pre-made tag I think this came from Michaels with just a little scrap of the paper from the collection I created a bag topper and a couple watermelon stickers left over from a Dollar Tree pack so here's the skein of the embroidery floss wooden butterfly buttons the enamel dots so there's that. Those are some goodies that'll be go all going in there. I was trying to use a scrap of the watermelon paper and I wanted to share a sequin mix. So I and I had the fruit the watermelon clay bits, so I put them in a bookmark. I made it double sided. We have the summer theme on the back. I had to fight a little bit with the fuse tool, but it wasn't so bad. And then I wanted to share these two glass balls but they ended up having gold tops so they didn't really go with the silver theme that I was working with but so I just added them there on the top and I used some of my black chain and a black bulb pin and made my own little tassel from the embroidery floss so there's that other thing I have here is my little acetate tag with the washi tapes on it I just spaced it out so I could fit all four I'll stick that in there and I'm going to be sticking right on the front my tassel. I just put it on a tiny paper clip. So I'll be right there. The little turquoise ones in the center, round ones, came from the items that I just gotten from Donna. So that was perfect. So I just incorporated all the different colors. I had the straws from Dollar Tree that had the pineapples on it, but I didn't necessarily like those and I thought well she could reuse these for wands so I have a couple of those and here's the stack of paper say one of each design tied it with the seam binding in the pink that matched 
And then next up we have the sheet of stickers, fun colorful stickers from Dollar Tree. The lemon cut apart here, my fussy cut fruit, a couple of the bees. And this would give her paper that matched the cut aparts that she could use in some type of project. And lastly, I made a little envelope here, a little cut apart, two B buttons from my stash, and I just punched a hole and stuck a mini paper clip to hold them on with, and then covered it with some washi, the belly band, so that'll slide on there. And then when you open this up, I have my little watermelon die cuts in here. I just ended up making three total. And here's my shaker mix. So it was a lot of fun coming up with my own combination. So, so that's nice. And then I had starting to collect so many of the little puffy shapes with fruit in them from Donna. So a couple of those. And then a little bag of mini buttons. And those could be add to charms, dangles, anywhere. I just thought they were cute and kind of all the different colors. So there's that. And and our candy and our goodies over here and our bags <sighs> so I think that's pretty much it I'm gonna once again do my usual and wrap everything up real nice in some tissue paper and then I found the scrunchy yarn and all the colors that I think matches so I'll wrap maybe a couple of yards of that around the package and she'll have some scrunchy yarn excited to get this out to her and I'm hoping she likes everything and finds all the little goodies items that she can use. Thanks so much for stopping by today. You take care and we'll hope to see you again soon.